Hello everyone and welcome to another GDB video tutorial. Again, GDB is just open source software that you can go ahead and use to uh, debug your programs. Uh, just want to let you know in this tutorial what we're going to be going through. Uh, so basically we just have our CPP file on the left and then we have our terminal on the right where we're going to be testing GDB. On this particular tutorial we're going to have actually two functions. One of them is bool leap year which you just uh, ask the user for input of uh, ask the user for a year I should say and determines whether or not it's a leap year and then we also have another function factorial which just asks for a number and then it determines whether or it calculates the actual factorial for that particular number the uh, process or the actual tutorials may mostly going to be on this particular function this simple fork function Basically, it's using fork, that system call, to go ahead and create a child process. And then it's actually going to call that leap year function in that process. And then also in the parent process, we see it will actually go ahead and call factorial. So let's go ahead and begin. So I've already compiled, and now I'm just going to do GDB, and then the name of the executable. And we have our GDP prompt running. And first, let's go ahead and test those particular functions. So let's just type R for run. And let's see, let's go ahead and find the factorial of a number. And let's find the factorial of 7. And it looks like that's 5040. So it looks like that function's working fine. And now let's go ahead and test the other function, the leap year one. So we're back in our prompt and we'll enter 5. And the year in question, we'll say is 2016. And yes, indeed, that is a leap year. Let's test it again. And we'll enter in another year. No, 2013 is not a leap year. So our functions seem to be working fine. Now let's go ahead and look at that uh, the simple fork uh, function. So let's go ahead and run that. So we'll just go ahead and enter 7. And it looks like we have some weird syntax and some weird stuff going on at the bottom here. So let's see. It says parent, I am your parent. And it looks like that's actually running before the child, which is something we do not want. So uh, let me go ahead and do something here. We're going to go ahead and rerun this. So first I want to quit. Yes. And now we'll just go ahead and run GDB again real quick here. And first I'm going to go ahead and set a breakpoint at simple fork. So rather than passing the line, I'm just going to specify the actual function. So we have a breakpoint there. And now let's go ahead and run the program again. And now we're here in the actual simple fork function. So let me just scroll to that on the left. So we are on simple fork here. That's line 101. Let's go ahead and print the actual PID, the process ID. So this is the process ID. We have 32,767. And let's go ahead and enter a new command, watch. And we're going to watch the actual PID. So it did go ahead and accept that. And now let's go ahead and continue. So the old value of the PID is this, new value is this. And let's go ahead and go back to the source code. Let's go ahead and look what was, uh, what's going on in the actual uh, function. So we know our child process should have been executed first. That leap year should have been queried first. And we can scroll back here to see that that actually was not the case. So yeah, the parent was actually going first, which is what we do not want. So why is that? Well, uh, f just for convenience, I actually commented out this particular weight. So that's actually the reason why the uh, parent was actually going first. It wasn't waiting for the child to actually go ahead and uh, complete. So now we're going to go ahead and fix that. And we've saved. We'll quit GDB. And let me just clear the screen. And we're going to go ahead and recompile and GDB. And let's see. Now we'll go ahead and enter. 
and yeah so now we're in our child and now in our child process we can go ahead and get find that leap year so 2012 okay yes 2012 is a leap year so that process did go ahead and uh, complete now we're in the parent process let's go ahead and enter a number find the factorial we'll enter nine and yeah we get the correct uh, the correct solution there for the factorial nine and so that's just a simple way you can go about debugging and using system calls uh, with it um, there is also another particular uh, function I'd like to show you really quickly uh, first let's go ahead and uh, set a breakpoint at that simple fork again uh, and then we're going to uh, introduce a new command and this is actually a set follow fork mode and we want to go ahead and follow the child okay and now we're going to go ahead and run again run that okay and we're back within that fork and yeah so it just gave us uh, information on that so yeah it gives us the process ID this is another way you can go about doing that and we'll go ahead and enter that year 2012 and it did go ahead and exit normally so basically uh, that um, that follow fork mode allows you to go ahead and watch a particular process you just specify it um, by uh, entering that command so the set follow fork mode and then the particular process that you do want to go ahead and follow so yeah that's a simple way we can go about uh, debugging using GDB with system calls I hope this was useful to you and uh, thank you for watching